So today we're going to print this out. We're going to make two prints of it. One on the highest resolution the machine can do and one on the lowest resolution. Okay, so here are our two prints. 100 is our highest resolution, and this is at 400, and this is our lowest resolution. So if I bring this close to the camera and keep the light on here, let's see. If I lay these down, bring the camera angle in a little bit. There you go. You can see on the left there, you have a nice clean edge on everything. And on the right side you're seeing webbing and also that edge going from the bottom wait, 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 from the bottom going all the way up is kind of rough. Definitely a big difference. Um, I'll take some pictures and put them on the Facebook see if how close I can get in here with this camera. So that's the hundred which is the best and this is exactly how they came off the printer so all this webbing is on the lower end. You can see it there how rough it looks. Um, another thing I noticed was on the inside, on the 400, completely filled, had a nice bottom. I mean, it, it was solid. Well, both of them are solid. But on the two, I'm sorry, the 100, being that it's putting down such thin lines, you could actually see little spaces in there. I don't think you can, uh, you can barely see them at the bottom here, but definitely a lot cleaner print. Uh, and for fun of it, I took uh, Robocop's head, and you can see that I scaled it down, so it didn't scale exactly perfect, but you can see the detail in there. Um, some little bad parts at the top. And that's just due to the scaling of this part. This is a lot, double the size here. But you can see, if I bring it in nice and close, I mean, you can see how nice and clean everything really looks in there. So, that's the difference between the highest resolution and the lowest resolution on this printer. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.